somehow found the venue. The trucks aren't here yet, or maybe it's somewhere else. I don't see it, so we'll see. Hopefully the audio for this is good too. Um, bought food, I'm really hungry, so yeah. I already ran into my favorite cosplayer. She wasn't cosplaying yet, but as we were walking, she started waving and I'm just like, cause I was wondering, I'm like, is that her? And it turns out it was, cause she started waving to me. She was like, Domo, and I was like, how are you? Ugh. The pouch sold out and that was all I wanted, so I left the line. Now I'm just upset. Ugh, oh my God. My shoes are squeaking. So the truck is stuck. No pictures yet. <laughs> this typhoon is so bad. Sorry, you guys can't see me. I'm like on the back street, so you can't really. There's no light. Um, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. It's insanely windy. Um, the typhoon did really bad damage in Osaka. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm home now. It, I look like a mess, but I just got back from the live and it's super, super windy from the typhoon that's going through Japan right now. It did a lot of damage in Osaka, so hopefully people are okay. But besides that, Hopefully I'm not talking too loud because it's it's really late now and I'm in a dorm. But um, the life was really fun as always and uh, to be honest, not a lot really happened during this concert. Like, not really many things I can point out. The light work for the songs and stuff, it's just, it was amazing. All the light works that Gazette does is really, really cool, especially the lasers. like. There was one where a laser would be beamed out from like the middle, not the middle of the stage, but like the back middle. So you have the stage and then there's the wall behind. And then in the middle of that, there's this laser that goes out and it just spreads. And it was so freaking cool. Like you wanted to reach out and touch it basically. It was really cool. So some things I do remember is that during one of... Okay, I don't remember when it was, but basically Reita, there's Reita and Aoi. Aoi went behind Reita and like leaned back. So they both kind of leaned back onto each other. And then Reita tried doing it again. But then by that time, Aoi like went away. He was like, no, 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 not this time. And of course, Ruki did his dance in Abergod. And I remember Uruha and Ruki going on the little the sides of the venue to get a little closer to the crowd. Well, actually, I don't think Ruki did it. It was Reita. Reita did it at Shimode, and then Uruha did it, you know, on Uruha's side. So it was really fun. They got super close to fans and, like, headbang together. Aoi was definitely feeling it. He came on his platform a few times, which was really nice. And I remember during Abergod, he puffed out his cheeks, which was really, really cute. And I'm like, yes. There's something I was going to say, but I completely forgot. Like, I know during Kanto, of course, Uduha went and played in front of Kai like he usually does. Eventually, Aoi actually went and did it too. When Kai was throwing his drumsticks after the encore, he was trying to throw it to, like, second or third balcony, either one, you know, something that isn't first floor. And he threw it, and it smacked the wall super hard and flew back to, like, the first three rows and I was like oh my god like I was watching and I'm like woo oh my god like I'm glad it didn't hit anyone I mean when it came back down it probably smacked someone well as they got it but yeah that was that was something yeah every now and then Aoi would go over to play on Uduha's side which was fun but I was like come back come back they played the songs that I wanted to hear I mean they didn't play Unfortunately, they didn't play Linda. Like, Kanto's great, you know, especially for the last live. But I haven't got to experience Linda this live, so I really wanted to hear it. So hopefully they will do it in phase two. And, like, I wasn't going to mention it, but I didn't like the couple beside me because they weren't moving at all. Like, 
I don't know, like sometimes they went like this or like maybe a little bit of that, but not really. They just stood there and it bugged me during Headache Man because they were in the aisle seat. And you know, during Headache Man, during the chorus, you like, you, you dance and like go in and out of your seats, but they just stood there and I'm just like, oh my God. I'm like, at least for this song, just move. Like you can still dance and move while watching the members. Like, I don't know if they just didn't want headbang or they just wanted to like watch. I, I don't know what was going on with them. You have to move around, at least do something. Or like when it's a song like Headache Man, move out of the way. So yeah, again, not too much to report with this concert. So just waiting for phase two and yeah, before I go. So goods, the goods line went kind of fast-ish. So they did, the show was supposed to, the show started at 6.40, but they tried starting it earlier at like at six, like they opened doors at 5.30 and were trying to get people in, but no one was moving. And so the venue staff, I can tell they were like hella stressing and stuff because we were not listening to them. But I'm like, at this point, just keep the normal time. I mean, they obviously did because no one was moving until 6 o'clock, 6.20. We went in pretty late. But yeah, other than that, it was good. Some good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try to maybe report whatever next live I go to for sure. Phase 2. But yeah. Bye.